that we're going to do a review that may have been done already, but it's always good to do it from a different perspective. And these are good. They're found in uh, section five. There's actually some multiple choice practice for the final there in the document with this title. And cis 4 sec butyl one hexyl cyclohexane you got to make sure we're talking about the right molecules. And they all have they all have groups on one and four. One of them's not a chair at all. Not a chair. So don't pick that one to be the uh, most stable. And some of them are trans. So don't pick those for the first question. Up and down, trans, cis, trans. I know you really want to pick C because it's very stable, but it's not the right molecule. This one's down and this one's up. And these are, this is cis, a uh, possibility. So you're down to B and D, which is the bulkier group. The bulkier group is the sec butyl. And bulkier groups prefer being equatorial, which makes the answer for five B. In, in D, the bulkier group's axial. That's not good news. It's suffering from 1,3 diaxial repulsion with that H and this H. Okay. Now, which molecule in question five is the most stable is another good question. Uh, I'm liking C. It's got both groups equatorial. And then D, E, a seven, sorry. Don't pick E, it's not a chair at all. In this question, uh, I want the least stable chair. So don't pick this, it's called a boat. We don't even talk about boats in this course, but OWL talks about boats. And you, you'll, you'll see boats when you have two bulky groups. And uh, I'm not going to put boats on your final at all. So how's that? There you go. So don't, pretend there's just A through D in question number seven. And uh, the one with two axials is, is bad news. And none of the other ones has two axials. So uh, A is worst case scenario. And that's a good little video for that. Uh, on your final, you'll have uh, a version of one of these, okay, because there was one of these also on the practice uh, final.